The year is 1084, and young King Olaf II was forced to flee his kingdom by neighboring nemesis, King Canute. Olaf mustered all the men he could, even enlisting his 15-year-old half-brother, Harald Sigurdsson, into his ranks and marched back to his homelands. Unfortunately, scouts had reported his movements back to Canute, and an ambush was planned. The pivotal battle of Stiglerstad was about to commence. Canute's forces assembled in the valley and pushed forward. No horns blaring, no commands shouted. The shield wall pushed to the front, providing protection for the archers in the rear. Olaf's forces entered the opposite end of the valley, marching in column formation and completely unaware of the danger that lay ahead. The beating of hoofs could be heard at the top of a nearby hill. It was a small contingent of horse archers. Were they sent to harass or perhaps a scouting party? It was impossible to know. As Olaf turned back to his troops, his stomach sank. The whole valley was covered in blue shields. There was no time to retreat to more favorable ground. The fight was already upon him. All he could do was order his infantry into shield wall and his archers into loose formation. The horns finally blared, men roared, and horses thundered. Knut sent his best troops and cavalry to destroy the enemy's left flank. On the right flank, Harald Sigurdsson fought bravely against the enemy cavalry, narrowly dodging a couch lance, felling them out, and thrusting his spear into its rider. He returned to his formation and unsheathed his sword. His first strike surprised his enemy, knocking him to the floor. But he was still a boy and lacked the strength to overpower anyone or pierce their armor. Nonetheless, he swung wildly, striking out at everyone in front of him. That is, until he was struck in the head with a Dane axe. His helmet spared his life, but not his consciousness. The battle raged around him and Olaf's right flank emerged victorious, but his left flank crumbled. His shield wall began to flee back to the safety of his archers. What was left of both shield walls met in the middle for a massive scrum. They pushed back and forth, neither gaining the upper hand on the other. After hours of back and forth fighting, both sides were exhausted and retreated back to safety. However, Olaf's rage could not be contained, and he ordered his troops back on the offensive. Push the advantage while these cowards flee, he said. What he failed to realize was the second half of Knut's men lay in wait beyond the hills they could not see. It was a feigned retreat. As Knut's men reached their own second line, he ordered them to halt and face the enemy. The Reds fought valiantly in the face of certain doom, but they were showered by hostile javelins and spear thrusts. Quickly they fell, their lifeless bodies sliding down the hill. Olaf ordered his reserves forward in a last ditch effort. It was all or nothing now, but they stood no chance. The ocean of blue quickly engulfed their enemy. Olaf himself was slain, ran through with a spear to the guts, and his throat slit wide open. As the survivors fled the field, one of Harald's closest friends carried him to the mountains. Were it not for Ragnvald Brusason, Harald would have been executed by Knut that day. Many Norwegians and Danes lost their life, but nothing changed. Knut would remain king of the north. And now our adventure begins. We've healed up enough after the battle. It's been several weeks. Let's go ahead and take stock of kind of where we're at. So Ragnvald Brusason is the one that saved us in battle. And uh, so we've got at least one person to help us out in the very beginning. Let's go over our personal stats. So we're spending a lot of attribute points and endurance. We're going to pick up two more from our perks. So we get another one from athletics and another one from smithing. So that'll be 10 in total because we're going to be doing, we're going to be using riding athletics and smithing quite a bit. So it makes sense to max this out, probably max out vigor next. And then we want to be well-rounded with the melee combat skills. We may put some points into throwing later, but for now, let's just focus on, on melee combat. And so that's kind of how we're starting out with our main character. Now with companions, we're doing it slightly differently. In the very beginning, we can't put more than two focus points into any skill. And every time we put a skill into something, we get plus 30 because if you you notice in the last one it was a little slow in the progression so to fix that we're going to add a little bit more so each time we can get up to 150 just by getting five focus points so that'll help get everybody off to a good start and then as far as starting gear so we're starting out with one of each because we are doing one-handed two-handed and polearm and then obviously we got to have the quintessential uh, viking shield we get the crappiest one because we just got out of we, we had to give up all of our noble gear we didn't have we didn't carry it over from the previous battle had to lighten our load to get to the village and we don't want anybody knowing that we are, you know, the son of a king. Or ex-king, I guess, because he just died. And then, of course, Ragnvald as well. One-handed polearm and some throwing and the same shield. And uh, we need to hide our identity, so we are using the Pilgrim's Hood. Same thing on the uh, civilian outfit, so 
we shouldn't have any issues getting around. So our main objective in the beginning is to get away from Sturgia. Obviously, Canute would uh, want us dead if he caught us, so let's get out of here. We heard a story of somebody in the east called Yaroslav the Wise. He's the leader of the Kazates, and we need to find him because he can offer us some protection, some work, uh, and he's got a really hot daughter. We want to get our hands on at some point, so let's head there, see if we can find out where he is. So there's a slave caravan here. It's got some looters. Pretty interesting. So I believe this is from Banner Kings. So I, I, I'm still not 100% sure what's included in that mod. So I'm sure over time we'll kind of figure it out. So here's Yaroslav the Wise and his daughter, Princess Elizaveta Yaroslavna. Not bad. So let's see where you're at. You're at Mazen. Where is Mazen? Right here. So he's pretty close. There he is, Yaroslav the Wise. Yours is not a face I know. What is your name, stranger? Man, that is a big dude. He's a big, scary dude. So we are Harald Sigurdsson. He wouldn't have been called Hardrada until later in life, or actually probably not during his lifetime. It would have been after the fact. So uh, he is Harald Sigurdsson. Yaroslav the Wise actually gave us some work, but we can't we can't officially work for him because we are still technically outlaws from Canute, and he doesn't want to ruin his trading status there. So he's basically, we're, we're going to have to help him clear out bandits around. We're going to help clear out gangs and cities. And that should put us in his good graces. And that'll help us raise our clan tier up to clan tier one, which is what we're going to need to move on to the next stage, along with a couple other things. We need to compete in tournaments, increase our, our gear, as well as increasing our renown and our combat skills. We need to build up our dinars. Maybe up to about 100,000 would be nice. And it would be good to get combat skills, at least one of these up to 200, plus some riding athletics that's somewhat comparable. And then uh, it's at that point, we might have a chance at his daughter. Obviously right now we're just a kid. We don't have any power or money. There's no way a king of a big empire is gonna let uh, his daughter go to some, you know, some no name, so. Okay, so we are getting chased by a group of eight. Might be a little bit too much. Now these are pretty low tier people though. So, so who are the Kakuo? Kakogoros. I actually have no clue how to pronounce that. Reminds me of Greek, but it's probably not Greek. So I'm probably just being a stupid American. <laughs> All right, let's see what these guys are. Yeah, so these are definitely tier one. They have a shield though. The Pezos and Veteranoi. Okay. Yeah, that kind of makes me think it is Greek actually. So maybe I'm not too stupid. I mean, I'm stupid, but maybe I got lucky on this one. Toxotes, I think is an archer. So they do have a couple archers. We might be able to do this, but I think we should probably look for something a little bit easier. Also, one thing notice with Banner Kings, you do have a different movement speed. So it lowers, it gives everybody a debuff, and it does that to, to mimic the map being larger. So for example, right now, I could travel from one end of the map to the other end of the map in, you know, maybe a week or a little more than a week. Uh, with the debuff, it, it probably close to doubles that. So it just effectively makes the map larger. Ooh, interesting. So nor in the normal vanilla game, these are all mounted, but in this, they are not. So there's a shine, uh, Ahmad, Jad, and a shine Num. I don't know what the heck these guys are. Let's go take a look, see if we even have a chance. So they have one of these, they have one of these, I think, and they definitely have some of these. So these are pretty high, high tier. Six is kind of a lot. We, we should probably try and find another companion or two before we start doing anything too crazy. Yeah, here's another group of eight. That's going to be tough for us. We are mounted though, so that does give us some kind of an advantage. Let's see if we can pick off some easy groups, some bandit or uh, gangs in the city. See if we maybe like nine or eight. Eight's probably reasonable. We could probably do that. We could also do, we could do banner king actions. So this one we can serve as a guard. You don't make a whole lot of money, but you know, if we get desperate and we run really low, we could do that. And smithing is a bit different as well in banner king. Let's, uh, let's go over that. I don't want to spend too much time going over this stuff because we'll kind of naturally organically see what all this stuff is. But, uh, I mean, this thing is massive. Like I'm going to scroll down really fast. Just look how much stuff there is. I mean, it's insane. I don't have time to obviously go through all this stuff, but you can you can craft all kinds of things. Body armor, ammunition, like arrows or bolts. Um, what else do they you? Shields. So all this stuff that you wouldn't normally be able to, to craft. And some of these things look really cool. Like this, this faceplate. I mean, that looks really cool. 
very interested to see how how all this works and essentially what you do is you you do have to pay some linen to craft some of these and then obviously the regular crafting materials so and then it also costs you some money you have to have a certain amount of difficulty and it'll cost you a certain amount of stamina and i believe you there's a chance to fail so you, there's a chance that all this could go to waste if you fail the crafting order so pretty cool we'll definitely look at that and obviously for the weapons we still have the the same thing although some things are changed like this is not a standard weapon this is this is different i don't i haven't had a chance to go through every single one but i there are still you know the old faithful you got your falx falx is still here they got a bigger version of that other one the shot shuttle so pretty cool stuff we'll definitely be looking at that but first things first we need to earn some money we got to get some renown i think maybe waterfront we can probably do let's go let's go pay this guy a visit right, we got our we got our dude with us ragenwald our best friend saved us from the battle let's head over to the waterfront all right here we are let's let ragenwald catch up but this guy is isolated it might be easier if we take these guys out because we can get two hits in before they even get one especially if if ragenwald's right there and then we can 2v1 that guy it's easier to do this now than to, to fight that guy and then do a 2v2 later. So I think we'll do that. Oh, got him. Oh, he took a hit, though. Let's get him down before the other guy gets here. Come on, Ragnvald. You can do it. Oh, he's going to get 2v1 now. Let's help. Nice. Good job, man. I wish we could see how much health he had. Actually, we can check it right here. So he took a pretty big hit, 22%. He's almost out of the fight. He'll he'll get another maybe 20% or so from this. All right, this is going to be the true test. Six people. What we might want to do is have Ragnvald follow us, and let's just back up. I think uh, running is... Oh, you're going to go way too slow. Okay, well, you're going to have to sacrifice yourself. Let's at least get... No, we're not even going to get that. Yeah, let's try and get some distance here. Sorry, Ragnvald, we tried. <laughs> We'll come back for your body later. Oh, that hurt. That didn't go quite as expected. It's tough with a, with another person. Uh, we just don't have enough to really fight them head on. Now, did we lose? Yeah, we, they took all of our... We didn't have any equipment. We just had a little bit of food and they took the food. So that's fine. Didn't take our money. We can wait here and heal up for a little bit. All right, but we do need to buy a little bit of food since we lost ours. Let's just buy some grain. Also, there's new food types in Banner King. So grain, butter, cheese, fish, olives, grapes, bread. There's, there's, I think there's like 12 or something like that. There's a bunch. You know what we can do while we're resting? I think, no, maybe we can't because we're, if we get up to 20%, maybe we can do that. So let's rest a little bit. Now will it let us? No. Maybe we got to be like full health, which makes sense. It would be kind of funny. You could just cheese it. All right, we are losing faith here or we're losing piety here. Faith is a, one of those things that I don't really quite understand. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I think we have to have Valor to start gaining it. I was, in my testing, I was able to get a plus 0.2. Now we're losing 0.2, so I'm not sure. We could also mess with some of these things. You know what we should probably do is, is find uh, tournaments. That's what we should probably do instead of, instead of fighting bandits. We do need to get a bit more skill than what we're at right now. Let's go, let's go travel the world a little bit. And then, like I said, we can, we can pick off some bandits in the uh, Kazate area from time to time. We did gain a level. All right, so there's a tournament here. We'll wait a little bit. That'll give us time to get our health. Actually, I think we should just wait till we're full health. All right, we're good to go now. Let's go ahead and spend our points. So we're going to need, for sure, some two-handed athletics, some of these other things. I think no matter what weapon we use, we're going to be using athletics. So let's pump this one up all the way first. And then we'll kind of figure out where we want to put our points. I'm thinking two-handed is going to be good for gang fights, but we could probably use polearm more in regular fights just because it's a little bit more versatile. So we might start with that one first. Let's see what kind of tournament we can get. Eastern Tasseled Boots. 26 armor, not, not the best, but it's not terrible. All right, we don't have any bow skill, so we're not going to be messing with that. Let's just go around stabbing people. Now thrust, one thing I've noticed is thrust damage tends to do a bit more damage than swing damage, at least at this stage. So that's our guy because we're red. Okay, our red guy's getting stabbed. Let's help him out. Oh, nice. He got... <laughs> oh, cool. So we evened it out. So this guy was about to get 
2v1. Oh, now we're free to roam. Let's just help. We'll help our guy. Yeah, see, look at that. 89. We stabbed him in the neck. That's why. Let's help our red guys out. Oh, it didn't do anything. 30 damage is respectable. So we need... we The damage scales... This is still using RBM, so damage really scales with your with your uh, skill level. More so... Well, that's our guy. More so than, than with um, the weapon. So we'll want to make sure we get the skill up on everything. Ooh, that horse would probably have three legs at this point if that happened. <laughs> there we go. There's another one down. Swinging wildly, man. Oh, we took one right to the face. Yeah, he got both of us. But we were in the last two, so we went on. Man, that 126 to the head. <laughs> Not a problem. We'll, we need to make some money here, so we will bet. All right, uh, let's wait for this guy to come to us. He's Looks like he's blocking his buddy anyways. There we go. Let's pull out the shield. We can... Put the shield away once we get there. Let him take a shot. Oh, he hit us. Wow. Even with this gigantic shield, he still managed to hit us. Look like in the leg, yeah. So in vanilla, your shield is massive. It, it goes beyond the borders of what the physical shield is. In this game, they fix... Er, in this mod, they fix that. So let's go ahead and get... Oh, wow. We got a good, good hit on the horse. Or no, it was him, actually. We hit him in the leg. All right, let's see if we can 1v1 this guy. Alright, we got him before his strike landed. Nice. Two hits. Let's do it overhead. Oh, right in the head. Beautiful. Alright, let's go get this guy out. Alright, we want the red one. Take him off his horse. Oh, there we go. This thing does some damage. Granted, these are all low tier troops. They don't really have any armor. Alright, we're not going to keep betting. We're not really getting the value there. Alright, swing damage. Like I said, swing damage does decent. Oh, 54 is pretty good. I feel like thrust damage does pretty well, too. There we go. Alright, we won our first tournament. Nice. Got some boots. We made a little bit of money. Not a lot. This, uh, we bet twice. So we earned 360 dinars. Got plus 3 renown. Let's see what these things look like. Highland boots is 26. These are 20. It's almost the same. <laughs> They should look better, though. They don't look a lot better. Yeah, I mean, it's it's an upgrade, for sure. Now, that would not be an upgrade. So we can sell these. That adds another 365 to our bottom line. We're going to need money, because, again, this is... Uh, hey, let's talk to this guy. So he's going to cost a lot. 20, uh, 2,026. So, obviously, we can't hire anybody else until we get more people uh, or more, more dinars in our bank. And we need to save up a little bit, because they are going to get expensive, so... All right, is there any small... Six is not terrible. I think we need to keep it like three or four, though, to be honest. Or what we could do is just keep wiping them out until they're down to the last one or two, and then we could take it. We could do that. It's a little cheesy. I don't mind being cheesy in the early game, though. But it's... I feel like it's going to take more time than it's worth, and we could better spend that time fighting in tournaments and getting more gear we got our first level of, of athletics we are going to be using troops in this game this is going to be mixed companion only in the beginning just for up until the point we get past the range in guard then we're going to be hiring our own troops so we can take over and do a lot of stuff so we will be using well built just because the extra hit points will help us and then the party uh, foot troops are going to get that that uh, hit points as well so once we get to that point it'll make a big difference all right down here at Aldock looks like there's another tournament Let's go ahead and do this one. And is there anybody? 7, 7, and 26. A little too much. And this one has a helmet. Nice. It will blow our cover, but we're out of Sturgeon land, so I think we're okay for now. We can probably start swapping that stuff out. And we're still getting okay dinars on our wager. It's not great. Uh, and again, we'll let's get rid of the bow and arrow. Let's see if we can take this. Take our counterpart out. Well, we'll take that guy out too. Ooh, wow. One tapped. One tapped again. Oh, <laughs> oh man. The combat is just so much better. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, I thought that was... I thought we were going to get one tapped. Yeah, the combat is just so much more interesting with the mods. Can we swipe him? 
Not for much, but he's almost dead. Ooh. Yeah, oh, we could have gotten killed there. Luckily, that guy didn't aim for us. Oh, we gotta be careful. Oh, man, yeah, we gotta be real careful. Let's let's get some distance. Let's have him run through our, our foot troops. That's gonna be... Okay, looks like their turning radius is a little bit better than ours, so we need to reduce our speed. The old physics problems. Oh, no, man, he took it to the face. Kind of nervous. All right, let's, let's let him swipe. Oh, beautiful, good work. Yeah, we needed help on that one. <laughs> That was not, it wasn't going badly, but it wasn't going that well, to be honest. Alright, these guys aren't blocking, which is good, and blocking the wrong way. Beautiful. And yeah, we're not getting good uh, value on our, on our bets, so we're just going to hold it. Let's go after the archer first. I feel like he's going to be an easier target since he's not going to block most of them, and as expected. Ooh. Okay, we'll take his mount out. That's fine. Oh, beautiful. Man, these tournaments are going so smooth. I like it. All right, last one. On foot. Beautiful. I feel good about mounted combat, but this is really sketchy when you're using these gigantic pole arms that can one-tap you. Because one wrong move and you're, you're toast. So, beautiful. We won. We weren't earned 300 this time. Plus three renown and a helmet. And the Nomad helmet is obviously a massive... Massive increase. So 56 armor. Doesn't really look like it's, uh, you know, accurate to the <laughs> to what a Viking would wear, but that's fine. I think um, we'll, we'll worry about dressing the part once we get down uh, into the later stages. So that should be good for now. And we, you know, obviously can't swap the Pilgrim's hat for this guy because he has the exact same gear as we do. So uh, let's pick up a little bit more food. 1900 in the bank. Let's see. What do you cost? Whoa, 4280. That is very expensive. Okay. Well, that's obviously not going to happen. And one thing I forgot to look, let's see how many companion, the wanderer companions there are. Uh, I've noticed this. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot. They are getting hired though. So notice some of these people do get hired. I, I believe this is a function of banner Kings. I thought it was serve as a soldier, but I disabled that mod, had to redo everything, deleted it. And had to redo all this whole save file. It took me hours, but that's fine. Better than crashing all the time. So they are starting to hire people. And I think it's actually Banner Kings. I think Banner Kings is the mod that has them hire people. Which means there's going to be a ton on the map. There's going to be a lot of these guys. A lot of them are hired, but they won't be hired forever. So we'll be able to take them into our, into our wing. Money, money, money. That's what we need. A lot, a lot of money. And I don't think we're going to do... We're not going to stick around here. Let's keep, let's keep doing these. Okay, so we do see Waterfront with only four people. We might be able to do this. Let's go see. It might put us at a 3v1 or a 3v2 for the end one. Yours is not a face I know. Yeah, I don't care. You don't need to know my face. All right, Ragnvald. You should be back at good health. Uh, waterfront, I believe it was. God, I already forgot. <laughs> I feel like I need to write stuff down. It definitely was not the clearing. Yeah, there's a ton of guys there. I'm pretty sure it was Waterfront. All right, we're here. They do have two, actually. So this is good. We take these two out. They'll only have two left. Let's do one on each side. So Ragnvald, you take that side. I'm going to take this side. And let's just start cracking some skulls. Oh, don't take too many hits, man. Nice. Good job. He probably close to half health. He only took one hit. So I think he's okay. Let's check it out. 35. So a little, little less than half. And before we wait, let's go ahead and take... <laughs> We got some writing skill. That was probably from the tournament. We're going to take charge damage because we are going to be doing some mounted combat. I would love to do, you know, we are a noble. We would be, you know, riding horses at some point. Uh, I know a lot of the battles he did fight on foot, but uh, that's fine. We want to do a little bit of mounted. We'll probably do a mix of both, though, like I said. So let's heal up a little bit for Ragnvad and Ragnvald, sorry. <laughs> Ragnvad. They did pick good names, I guess, right? Oh, they do have three. So one of them healed. Well, we got to try it. We have to try it. All right, where are they? So 65 away. You know what we could do is try and find a good choke point, And maybe we can take a 2v2 at least for, for a little while. So up here, 
Up here, Ragenwald. Up the stairs, man. No, he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't want to do it. I'm just going to have to try and get a, a quick kill. Come on. There we go. Okay, well. We got to try and keep... Oh, man. This is so hard. Oh, man. We almost had it. That was really tough. All right. Nobody died. And like I said, we're not really losing any gear. We probably should have done one more and then try to get a 2v2. Fighting outnumbered with these mod this mod list is incredibly difficult. Even if you have enough movement speed to outrun them, they just swing like madmen. They go after you no matter where you're at. So... Um, now we're going to be using a lot of two-handed axes and maces. So we're going to go woodchopper and then we'll probably go head basher. And I'm really excited to see what that does, especially when we get shield breaker, we should be able to tear through these guys' shields. All right. So we got nothing much to do here, but wait, uh, they did, <laughs> they stole our food again. We'll buy a little bit of grain. That's fine. We've got a little money to spare anyways. And fortunately nobody's dying yet. So let's go ahead and heal up for a bit. Right, up to 60% is fine. We can heal the rest while we're moving. We are going to, we don't want to waste any efficiency here. Let's see. Oh, I see an interesting message here. It's three, it says 364 people have died, have been killed in the siege of Lanaken Castle. So it looks like, looks like people die in sieges now. I think they're talking about the civilians. Let's put more into athletics. We'll cap that out first. And actually, how is Ragenvald doing? He's almost a level two, so that's not too bad. He's a little slower than us, but we are doing a lot more fighting than him, so that makes sense. And he's getting two-handed. Did we... I don't think we gave him a two-handed, but maybe he started with one. That's one-handed. That's one-handed. How are you getting two-handed XP? <laughs> oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. I remember now. We have a mod active. Uh, we have a mod where the highest skill of a highest level of a certain skill contributes a very small portion of XP to everybody else in the party. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you hang around certain people, you'll start to learn things from them. So that's kind of what that simulates. So notice he has no smithing skill. He's already got three there, three two-handed. And we should be on our main character getting XP from, from this guy. So like we haven't really used a polearm, but Ragenvald has 60 polearm skills. So he's going to be teaching us how to use our polearm. Uh, did, no, we used, sorry, we did use polearm a little bit. We used it a little bit in um, the tournaments. So we did get some from that. But anyways, I think we are getting a little bit from him anyways. Uh, let's move on to the next city. We can actually talk to the guy. Let's see where the next one is so we don't have to waste any time. Cyrenea and Ortengard. Let's go to Ortengard. That's going to be yeah, back up here. While we were traveling, Ragenvald did level up. So again, let's kind of figure out how we're going to do this. This is a, this is a tough one. He is getting some one-handed skill from those, those battles and some athletics. I don't know if... I think maybe probably one-handed is more important for now. One-handed or polearm. Because remember, whatever we put a point into is going to get the 30, ex, uh, the 30 skill points. Should we max out athletics first? Or should we max out one of the combat skills? I feel like the combat skills is so important for the AI. So I feel like doing this is more important. And one-handed is going to be more important for city battles. Polearm probably more important for regular battles outside. I think we're going to go one-handed. It's just going to be useful, more useful now. So, And if you're not sure what I'm doing, I'll do it this one time just so you can see. We go into the edit hero mode. We go to one-handed. And we just pump up skill level by... 30. So we'll put it up to 90. And just to make it easier on ourselves, we can also pick the uh, the perk here. Now, we will be doing mounted combat, but we'll keep one-handed, the one-handed perks, just for the, uh, like an on-foot build. So we'll go with uh, Shield Bearer. It makes the shield less, basically get less movement speed penalty. And we already knew there was a tournament here. We could wait a little bit longer because we only have 70 hit points, 70%. We should probably do that. All right, perfect. So full health. Oh, wow. Backstreet only has one. Waterfront has wounded i don't think we did anything here did we? oh no that was that was the one that we attacked wasn't it i think that was the one of the ones we attacked but i don't remember the back street having one so i'm wondering if they do fights while we're gone that'd be pretty interesting the gang the gang leaders are like fighting each other for space that'd be kind of cool but first thing first let's do this tournament eastern leather boots that'll be good for uh, ragenvald yeah he's gonna need that we'll, we'll we'll probably take these and give them ours all right it's a free-for-all so we can kind of avoid fighting if we want to or take some easy hits this green guy is really wanting our number. <laughs> we binked him in the back of the head. All right, let's... 
Oh, he survived that. That was that was a pretty nasty hit. Oh, okay, green got hit, so they're both hit. Nice. So we're through no matter what. Let's try and get some XP out of it, though. Nice. They're not blocking too much, but this is a low-level tournament, so it makes sense. We can still do some betting. We're not getting great odds, but uh, I think we sh it's still worth doing. Let's get the archer. Ooh, smacked his horse. Oh, no, that's our guy. There we go. There's red minus one. Smacked him in the head. All right, let's focus on getting... Well, actually, what we should do is focus on not dying. <laughs> that's the priority. All right, so yellow's our buddy. Let's stay near him. And green's coming after us. Ooh, got a block. Okay, yeah, we're almost dead. We need to not do that. We had one good block, and then we got smacked. All right, these guys are doing the, doing the dance. Nope, too early. All right, he's... Oh, no, we got smacked. <laughs> no, get out of there, get out of there. I think that's our guy. We were yellow, right? Well, maybe he can survive. We just need to make it to the last two groups. Oh, that hurt. Oh, man. <laughs> go back on your horse. He can steal a horse. He's just going to go for it. All right, hopefully red goes down here. Red needs to go down here. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, we missed. <laughs> Yeah, get red, get red. Nice. All right, I think that's it. We're in. Oh, yeah, he's dead. All right, so we did make it in. Yeah, that was our guy. Probably not going to bet here. No, that's terrible odds. As you can see, we can still lose. <laughs> we definitely don't want to, but this is not a gimme when you have these... These weapons just do so much damage. Ooh, right in the leg. Ooh, we beat him to the punch. Swung at the same time that he did. Kind of dangerous doing that, but... Ooh, good block. Good block. Alright, hit the horse. It's not really what we wanted to. Notice there's a handle hit in the bottom right, so you can hit... They have different damage stats if you hit it with the handle, which is kind of cool. In, in the base game, you just... Stuff kind of bounces off. Wow, we got a really unlucky hit there. I was blocking in the right direction, but... Because... Because the way we were facing. Ooh, there we go. Man, that was really close. I was kind of nervous there. Yeah, those pole arms are really scary. So 330 profit for us. We did bet twice. And these boots are slightly better, but probably not as good. Yeah, so not as good. We can still sell. We'll make 547. So really, really good pickup for us. Trader does not have money. Okay, so we're not doing that then. Let's just swap these out. We'll hang on to them.